Hi, it's Sandra, the Naked Chef. Today I am going to make green chili in a crock pot with a pork loin. And the way I do it is like I pull the meat after it's done. So let's start off with our aprons. I safety first and cleanliness. Okay. Now, in order to get the green chilies how you want them, now you can buy them, like I live in Colorado, so um, they have hatch chili guys that set up a tent and um, spin them, spin the bushels in this giant fire roaster or whatever. Um, you can get those seasonally in car, but if you don't have someone like that, you can roast them yourself. And these are Anaheim chilies. And I've got like uh, seven of them. Okay. And the way that we're going to do this is to um, put my peppers under the broiler so that they would char up. And while I'm waiting for that to happen, I'm going to brown this um, pork loin. I'm going to take it out. Well, I think it comes out into the room. Okay, for whatever reason, it comes out in two pieces, so you want to put them flat. And I, if they can both fit in your pan, or like if you get a whole solid pork loin, you just want to brown both sides of it real quick, just to sear it, so that it, um just so that it soaks in more flavor and it becomes more tender as it cooks. So that's that and I'll flip it over in just a minute to brown the other side. There's that. Okay, let's see now. Just brown both sides. Uh, there we go. We'll brown the other sides. Okay. And then after this, we are going to. So we're cutting the onion. You cut that end off, lop it in the trash, and then you cut it in half, like in half of the knot that's on the other side, and then usually there's like a kind of thin oniony type layer that comes off with the outer skin that makes it nice and um, Smooth and clean, and then let's see. You get this one too. This one's being tough. Whatever. Okay. And now you cut the onion, you just dice it, and you can dice it as small as you want. Like, I like kind of small dices, so I'm just cutting it here, um, kind of vertically into the onion. And I am just I'm cutting my little rows that I want. 
and then you cut the other way to make the squares that you want to be in your chili. There, and I kind of just leave a little like nub and is useless kind of. And um, I do that to the other one. Okay. Uh, all right, I got our onions all cut, and now we gotta do our garlic. We want like, uh, maybe I don't know, six cloves of garlic. That's kind of I love garlic, so like. I want to like put a lot in there. Let me see if I can get this undone. Yeah. And you just like peel all this stuff off the outer layer of the garlic to get to the cloves. And the cloves are even wrapped in their own um, wrapping. But we have to get them out of their shell. So one, two, three four, five, six. That's good. Six garlic cloves. Okay. And so you're going to cut off these little nubby ends that they grow from or whatever. I guess. Here we go. That little. Yeah. And just cut them off. Mm. There's that. There's that. Oh, I'm gonna cut this one off more or something. Or I don't know. Uh, then, okay. Then after you cut all these off, you want to smash it with your knife. So you just take it and you turn it. Um. That, well, the curved side, did. and so we're just going to smash all that garlic, and we're going to, um, after we do that, we pull out this little green mid center, because it's bitter, and you don't want that in your stuff, so that goes with the trash, too. And now you're going to, um, put a, a tablespoon or two of olive oil in your pan that's heated to like a medium, medium high heat. Okay. And then you let that heat for a few seconds before you dump in your garlic and your onions. And put in your garlic and onions. Okay, and while that is kind of um, sauteing, um, I'm going to make a broth to put in here. Two teaspoons, and we're going to turn that heat down. 
is two teaspoons of the chicken um, broth powder per two cups, so one per, one teaspoon per cup. Let me see what I got. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A teaspoon. And let's see. Teaspoon, two teaspoons for these two cups of hot water so that it dissolves um, properly. There we go. And then, so it dissolves right away, that chicken powder does. This is only two cups. I'm going to put two more cups in here. But... I'm going to turn this to a medium-low heat, maybe like a four, five is good. Because I don't want to cook these too much because they will also cook in the crock pot with everything. And it'll be delicious. Okay, so then after these are a little translucent, you're going to put in your broth. I think I might be able to fit two more cups. This is what the chilies look like. They are all roasted and um, now you put them in like a plastic bag or a giant bowl or anything that can be sealed and shut so like they can steam themselves and they steam off their skins um, from being cut. So I'm putting it in a bowl here. Just like so, and it has a lid, so I'm going to do that, and they're going to, it's called sweating them out, so we're sweating them, and then with your four cups of broth here, and I am going to add another two cups of broth, um, if I can find my cup or whatever I did with it, oh, here we go. So then, I'm gonna need two cups of broth. Here, one, two. Let me stir that. Stir that. And then add it to your crock pot. And then once some, you can put some lime in there. Lime's good for things. And then I uh, do a little salt, which is right here. Pour it in your hand a little bit, and pinch it, and sprinkle it. You don't want to do too much because then like it might be too salty and people don't like that. Um, then Let's see, I'm going to get my cup, and I'm just going to grab like a half a cup of flour. Where is that? Okay. Okay. That's close to a half a cup. close to half cup. So I'm going to do that and I'm going to dump that in the um, broth and grab my hands. Whisk it around a little bit. Careful not to spill over the edges. And this is how you thicken your green chili sauce. And as it cooks more, it will thicken. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. 
So we did a little pepper and I'm putting in a little cumin, like maybe just like a half a teaspoon to a teaspoon or so. Not too much, just enough to kind of flavor it good. And so Yeah, I don't know how to see it. It's pretty thick. See how my sauce is like thick and um, I added a little cumin, maybe a half a teaspoon to a teaspoon. And um, I uh, added a tiny bit of pepper, maybe a quarter of a teaspoon to a half a teaspoon. Um, and now that it's thickened, and ready, and after I cooked it, I'm going to um, get my chilies after they sweated in their um, box here. Let me see what they did. Yeah, they're still hot. Okay, so I'm going to pour this in the crock pot. And then... chilies and I just add this whole can to my crock pot and um, after these chilies sweat which I think they might be yeah so when the chilies sweat in the bag or the bowl or whatever you have to contain them. It should just be like this, where like the skin just peels off. And that's how it should be. And you're gonna peel off all the skin from the roasted chilies, and then you're gonna cut them and dice them up and put them in the pot too. Now, all the chilies are cut, and we're gonna put them into the pot. And stir them up a little bit, just to uh, make them distributed throughout the um, sauce. And then just let it cook on low for um, four to eight hours. I would suggest maybe like six. I'm starting this at like um, 11 o'clock in the morning. I, what, I started um, this process around 9.30 actually, but um, I'm just now getting the um, heat on and I'm going to do six hours. So it should be done by five o'clock. One thing, I have two jalapenos to put in there and I just chop the stem heads off. Yeah. You can see it. There we go. We're just going to chop them in half. Like that. And then you want to um, scoop out whatever seeds and membrane that you want. And depending on how spicy you want your chili. And then you're going to slice them in strips and then dice, cut them the other way in dices. This is how you cut them in strips. And then now I'm going to dice them and cut them the other way. This is the dice. And then I'm just going to throw them in the green chili and um, let that cook for six hours. And pull it up. One last thing. If you have jalapeno hands, don't touch your eyes or your nose or your genitals. Just like 
what cures jalapeno hands so it's not spicy anymore is lemon juice and you want to rinse it with hot water so that all of the oils go down the drain. I don't want jalapeno hands, so I'm putting a lot of lemon juice on it. 